Welcome to this stateless code video and in this video we're going to be starting a new series called Enough Inkscape to be Dangerous. So I'm a developer and I've got a bunch of coding videos, uh, Ruby, I'll probably eventually throw in some JavaScript and, and whatnot, but I am going to also, I last year around December 2020 I went and did some started playing around with Inkscape a little bit to do some 20-sided uh, polyhedral dice. And I figured that um, I'm by no means a graphical artist, nor am I a wizard with Inkscape, but I learned enough to be dangerous with it, and I think you can too. So Inkscape is a program that lets you create scalable vector graphic images so there are, there are kind of two types of graphics and um, again not an expert I'm probably I might not even be pronouncing these correctly so you've got vector graphics and raster graphics so something like GIMP uh, or Photoshop will, is more of a raster graphics type of program and then Inkscape use, uh, uses and creates scalable vector graphics which uh, if you're going to maybe we'll do some stuff to manipulate those later on programmatically. Uh, at the end of the day, scalable, scalable vector graphics are essentially XML. So it's a, you take the, the vectors and all that stuff, it gets represented as XML. And then one of the benefits of vector graphics is that they can scale to as small or as large as you want them to be. So if I were to go in, and take a look at my dice SVG files here. And I want to say, go to the D20 and open the 20 here. You can see that the file here, if I were to open it smaller, it will shrink to, this is, probably not the best program to open this in. If I were to open this in, let's say, uh, Firefox or Chrome, Chromium, let me just see if I can, there we go. So we've got our, our SVG file here want we can zoom it it doesn't you can see it doesn't get ugly when you zoom it big it um, and then it can it can handle zooming small pretty well as well so that's kind of what I'm doing with the um, the vector graphics and I, I did these in Inkscape on on a Mac I'm doing this on my Ubuntu machine right now, but that's kind of what I did, and I'm going to kind of go through um, the process here. So if I, if you do go into my terminal here, well, Inkscape. So if I go and try to launch that, I can go to help here and go to about Inkscape and we can see that this is version 1.0.2. So I'm gonna try now to um, go to the Inkscape site here. You can see that the latest version that we've got is 1.1, which was released in uh, May of 2021. So what I'm gonna do the gives you options for how to download it, and I am going to use the Snap version of this. So in order to do this, I'm first going to um, uninstall the, uh, the apt version of Inkscape. So
slash dash purge. Oh, it's apt to remove. Silly me. Alright, so that is now gone, and I can go to the Snapcraft version of this. Installing it via the command line. Let that download. That seems to have worked. this launch. All right, so we've got a setup section here. Let's go with default, default. And we'll try to save it. It gives some uh, information about how to um, contribute time or funding to Inkscape. If you take a look at it, uh, so one of the things that it has, if we go back to Inkscape itself, there are a lot of tutorials, books and manuals. These are very good. Uh, it get, kind of goes, starts with how do you draw a line um, and, and goes from there. So it can, uh, if you wish to learn more and uh, from the people who develop and maintain this, I would highly recommend doing that. So we'll continue on. Time to draw. Okay, so I will. Just see if I can do existing files. Can't load anything, which is odd. Let me just see if I can get past this point now. I can open. So let's say that I've got my file here. I don't need to show everybody my full directory structure. So we've got this dice SVG folder. I can go in and let's say I want to pull in the, the no numbers version of this. I now have that available and you can work with the um, the different layers. This is a little bit different than this is my actually my first time ever opening up 1.1. Um, so but it allows you to draw shapes. You can um, let's say you wanted to take a look at this triangle, resize it, control Z to undo it. Uh, you can change the, the fill. Let's say I wanted to make all this um, a uh, instead of 240, I want to change this to 120. And it could now be green. And you could change this and um, and export it and it would be um, give you what you what you need 
for it. So that's what we've got there. And then there are all kinds of options that we'll get into in the other videos. This is just basically your, your initial um, get installed and set up video and we'll, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching this stateless code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.